We would like to take you on a tour of a 157-acre waterfront property in eastern Baltimore County with a beautiful view of the Chesapeake Bay. Now the history of this property wasn't always so pleasing. For 62 years, this was the site of the BG&E CP Crane coal-fired power plant. You may recognize the iconic stacks as the navigational beacon for many boaters on the western shore. In October 2021, Foresight Development Incorporated acquired the property and began dismantling the shuttered plant and remediating the site. A highly publicized controlled implosion of the plant took place on August 19, 2022. Since the closure of the plant, there has been notable improvement in water quality in the area. We have also noticed an increase in wildlife, including eagles and wild turkeys. There is an abundance of life in Saltpeter and Seneca Creeks in the surrounding wetlands. These wetlands provide some of the most productive habitat for diverse wildlife. Their rich vegetation provides food, shelter, spawning and nursery grounds for migrating waterfowl, and shelter and food for amphibians, reptiles, mammals, and birds. We have an exceptional and rare opportunity to purchase this property and extend the green belt of undeveloped and protected land by connecting this site to Eastern Regional Park, Marshy Point Nature Center, and Gunpowder State Park. In combination with federal lands, it would be a part of one of the largest tracts of undeveloped and protected lands on the Upper Chesapeake Bay. In 2007, the Baltimore County Department of Recreation and Parks created a concept plan for the East County Regional Greenway. The plan would connect existing county and state parks via a system of bridges and paths. If acquired, this greenway path would be extended to connect the Foresight property to the Baltimore County Eastern Regional Park by way of the old rail utility right-of-way. This area has long been a place to reconnect with nature. The bridge on the plant property that crosses Saltpeter Creek to Carroll Island was a popular fishing and crabbing spot. A story in the Baltimore Sun from 1997 captures the sentiment well. Most anglers were there for a chance to relax alone or with other fishing enthusiasts and the opportunity to enjoy the beauty of nature, whether they catch a fish or not. Today, people kayak and paddleboard into the coves and marshes around the property. Many enjoy bird watching and photography. Hiking and biking could be added to the list of activities enjoyed by many. There is also an opportunity to make this a site for green energy production. Foresight is pursuing a plan to construct a battery storage center in a portion of the property. With the transmission infrastructure still intact, energy can be collected from the grid, stored, and supplied back to the grid during periods of peak demand. This is an opportunity to restore this land. Planting trees remains one of the most successful and cost-effective resources in the fight to improve water quality. Despite their value, they continue to disappear at an alarming rate and efforts to restore them are lagging. A large portion of this site could be reforested. The Chesapeake Bay is the largest estuary in the U.S. and a natural wonder. Let's treat it like the gem that it is and do all that we can to be better stewards in ways that count. Please support the purchase and conservation of the former CP Crane site. We tend to perpetuate and increase what we value, and though we see ourselves as loving nature, we don't value it in ways that count. Tom Horton, Waters Way Life Along the Chesapeake.